Okay guys, so this will be the the third upgrade for this axial capra from RTR. So I decided to put some brass weights here. So I have two types here. So one is see it's obviously bigger and then the other one is just the half of this. Okay, so basically the one added is this one. Okay, this thick portion. So this one, I'll be using it in the front because it's heavier. Okay, so it will be here. And then this one will be for the rear. Okay, so this brass come from Injora. And then these wheels are also from Injora. So I hope they should match. Okay, see here. There's no, before I even actually proceed, I have to check that there will be no sliding, okay? When it comes to the diameter, okay? So, we proceed to do this one. Okay, so for the bigger one, we are going to put it in the front. So I will just have to remove actually four screws here. We are going to use our famous 2mm. So we have to remove one, two, three, four. But before that, we just have to remove first the this the 12 mm hex adapter. Okay. We use a 1.5. Okay, then put back, then we set aside. Okay, there's a small shim here. Okay, take out this one also. There's a very small pin. Anyway, you can remove later. So the next thing we need to do is we have to loosen all these four screws. Try to do it evenly. Okay, it's up to the same during the greasing is what we're going to do okay so take out this one so basically what we are going to do is we are going to transfer whatever is in there to here okay what's there come here okay so we just have to pull them out one by one so that's you just find some ways to remove it that should be better okay, so to remove this one it's just very easy so totally just push it up okay and there you go then we just put some grease before we put in here but actually we we have to try first does it fit okay so it's like this so we just have to make it flat and then slowly push it in okay so that's very sweet okay just go in properly okay then the next one is the top side so we are going to remove that bearing so if you have this spare bearing you may not need to remove this one Okay, so it's not easy but definitely it will come out okay you just keep rotating okay keep rotating around and it come out it comes out okay and this one will go here then same what we do on the other side we just flat it a bit and then push it in okay then we need to put some grease before we put it in there so you see this one, the grooves are the same as this one, as the brass. And we try to fit first before we do the greasing. Okay, so it looks this way. Or actually, we can put this one inside. Okay, 
and then this one will go in okay so we just try it this way it should go in well okay and then we try to rotate on the other side okay oh Okay, so it can it can rotate now. Okay, so they are out of place. Okay, that should be it. Okay, and then we we put the screw. But first of all, before we put the screw, we have to grease first. Okay, so after pre-greasing, just everything back okay put the four screws this one there's no need of a lactite because you are tightening on a plastic okay so that's how it looks like so actually we just have to try to fit first the wheels then see check and if it's rubbing if it's rubbing then we might have to change our the hex adapter there so we try first see inside okay so it's actually nice it's very clear it, it's not it's very clear it's clear so it's not touching anything okay so i can proceed to put the time the wheel now Okay, so it's okay here now, right? So all we have to do is to proceed to the next. Okay, so the rear one is also same. It's just very easy. Just have to remove again 12 mm hex. Take note of that screw there of that ring then we remove again okay so it pops out now i don't know which one is front which one is rear i think they're just same okay then we put it flat and then push okay so make sure it's flat in there for this one just make sure that you the the dowel pin is still inside the groove then push this thing inside inside the hole get this small ring put it outside okay then put some grease and then put it there I return it here okay so it's just like this just rotate a bit so that they can align properly and then you can push once it's inside okay so it's very easy just push it inside put this thing on put this four screw put back the hex and that's it so I'll be doing the same thing on the other sides and then we will we will go and try to run it outside I will try to run in the same place we run with without this brush thing and we see what will happen today is this really worth it to put or not will it stop the bouncing of the whole truck with a lower CG, would it be better for it, or we just put more load on the on the on the truck that it cannot perform? So those are the things that we can find out on our test run, which will follow after this one. So okay, 
that's it return this thingy align and shoot Okay, so I'll just put these two pieces at the, on the other side. Okay, this one, this group is actually going to the C hub. So the C hub is here. So it will clear this one. Okay. Okay, so this is how it looks in the front. Okay, put some lights there. Okay. and for the rear it's like this okay so everything is clear there's no rubbing but it looks like it become wider <laughs> okay so from here see my it's drooping this way so it's really heavier in the front Okay. Okay, so let's check the weight when it's become two point eighty three now. <laughs> 